Hi, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Terrell from the Department of Otolaryngology at the University of Michigan. And I've just created a short video on silent sinus syndrome because I find that a lot of my patients have never heard of it. And frankly, some of their doctors or many of their doctors have never heard of this unusual condition, which is quite treatable. What is silent sinus syndrome? Well, it's a fairly rare disorder that affects the sinus in the eye. Basically, basically what happens is the maxillary sinus or the cheek sinus doesn't aerate well. It fills the fluid and, and generates a negative pressure which sucks the floor of the eye socket, which is called the orbit. It sucks the orbital floor down. When that happens, the eye sinks in, uh, which is called enophthalmos, and sometimes it lies lower in, in the orbit so the one eye is, looks lower than the opposite eye. And uh, when the eye does sink in, sometimes the eyelid droops because the eye is sunken in. Here you'll see a picture of a patient of mine that agreed to be photographed and videoed. You can see that his left eye is sunken in, and uh, it's quite uh, dramatic. And also, if you look carefully, you see the left eye actually uh, sits lower in the eye socket, in the, in the orbit, than the right eye does. Here's a video of this patient. And you can see his left eye is sunken in, the eyelid is sunken in. And in a moment, we'll look from below so you can see how the eye is. You can see the left eye is substantially sunken in compared to the right. Sometimes we look at this from the bottom view or from the top view. In this case, it's more obvious looking from the bottom up. On a CT scan, you can see that uh, the floor of the orbit, uh, the floor of the eye socket is lower on the left side and uh, this is the patient like looking out at you and the, uh, the sinus is also filled with material which is the gray stuff uh, in the maxillary sinus or cheek sinus uh, underneath the eye. There should be air in there, it should be black like it is on the opposite side. Here's another CAT scan slicing, slicing through the skull the nose is near the top of the, of the uh, image there and the eyeballs you can see with the lens. And you can see that the left eye is sunken in compared to the right eye. It's kind of retracted in the eye socket. Well, how do you treat this? First of all, you have to find a surgeon, uh, an ear, nose, and throat doctor that knows about this syndrome and has heard of it. So you'd like to find an experienced science surgeon uh, who knows about this disease or certainly someone who's willing to research it. Typically, the treatment is endoscopic sinus surgery, where we open the sinus up and allow it to aerate. The sinus is done. The sinus surgery is done under general anesthesia, and you can see here uh, is a, a surgeon uh, performing that surgery. There are a number of small instruments that we use: cutting and grasping instruments to open that sinus up, wash it out, and we use little fiber optic scopes that you can see at the bottom of the screen. Typically, we do this uh, under with a TV monitor and a camera attached. After surgery, the post-operative course is fairly simple. We generally wait and see if the bone remodels with time. So most eye surgeons will recommend waiting six to twelve months because, in many cases, the eye bone, the bone in the orbit, the floor will remodel and reposition on its own. Sometimes uh, orbital or eye surgery is needed to move the floor to a more, to a more normal position to augment or raise the floor of the, of the uh, orbit so that the eye is correctly positioned. But again, you, most people typically want to wait uh, if they can. So what should you know about finding treatment for silent sinus syndrome? Well, first of all, recognize that most doctors haven't heard of it. Even most ENT doctors haven't heard of it. So you'd like to find an ENT doctor that knows what it is or someone who will look it up for you. And then you probably also need to find an oculoplastic surgeon that knows about uh, this disease as well. You want to do the sinus surgery and address the root cause of the problem. That's the negative pressure, the, the sinus that doesn't have air in it. And if you can tolerate it, then wait for the eye to remodel itself before considering doing eye surgery. Occasionally, patients have severe double vision. 
and don't want to wait, but for the most part, it's recommended to wait if you can. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'm at the Department of Otolaryngology, University of Michigan. If you have questions, you're welcome to contact me. I hope this is helpful.